Hey guys, today we are going to make focaccia bread. Let me just move some of this out of the way. Alright, we're going to start with three cups of flour. Before you grab the flour, just whisk it up. It makes it more airy, so your dough isn't as hard. One teaspoon of yeast. And a tablespoon of salt. Go and now semolina. All right, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna need one third of a cup of semolina. So it should be a about, I have a half cup right here. It should be a little bit more than a half cup, apparently, is what I was told. <laughs> but oh, less than half. Cup. Less than half? I think. Today I asked you and you said it's more than a half. Did I? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Just do eyeballing. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my fault. There we go. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. Where's the measuring spoon? It's in the flour. It's no, been in the flour. Glass jar. Measuring cup? Yes. Right there. Okay, let's check. One third is less. Less than a yeah. half cup. I told you. No, no, no. You said Arnok gets more because I showed you. I'm like, Mom, is it half of a half I cup? I don't have any proof. And you said, I you said no, Arnok. And then I filled it up and you're like, Miki Chao Vela. No, yes. we didn't un uh, understand each other. I don't speak well English. <laughs> okay, it's less than a half it's cup. Less than a half One third cup. is less than a half cup, dear people. Okay. Now, now I need also... to check now. Okay. <laughs> and then? Now you add a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Normally you would put this in the water, but I don't want to do that because it always gets stuck in the bottom of the water. And it just becomes a pain to you to get out. Because so. you didn't continue painting. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna mix this up and then we're gonna start on the wet ingredients. What are your wet ingredients? Water, oil, water and oil. <laughs> wet ingredients and wet ingredients. Because like, normally. He has like four or five. Because normally, what's it called? The sugar is supposed to count as a wet ingredient because you're supposed to dissolve it. Uh -huh. But. It all goes you know in the same better? place. You add the water, mm -hmm. then it makes it this thing Oil. at the end when it's almost done. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so now I just add the water and mix it. Yes. Alright. Oh, and by the way, this is a cup and a half of water. What happened to the Well, it's that video. Yeah. Now, while this is mixing, I'm going to start drizzling in the olive oil. It's about two tablespoons, mm -hmm. but you know, just eyeball it. So just now we start mixing. Dough is nice and this is supposed to be a wet dough, so don't try to add too much flour because then it's just gonna be a brick and you're supposed to have the dough be soft. Now, I'm gonna leave it in this and since we already oiled it while mixing, we're not gonna need to add any oil. But if you're making this and putting it into a different bowl, make sure to oil the other bowl up with avocado oil. Olive oil. Or any oil. Yeah. Olive oil just makes it taste better though. Mm hmm Here we go. And you don't need to knead it, which is the best part, because I'm terrible at that. <laughs> really bad. There we go. Just gonna close this up. And leave this for a couple hours. It depends. It's colder now, so it's like, it takes a whole day to raise. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Two hours. We made this dough earlier today. Look how wet that is. I'm gonna grab... Now, before we put this in, I was about to, you're gonna put some olive oil to make sure it comes out nice and easy. There we go. Just gonna... semolina. I'm not even going to grab it. Oops. Oh, and that is way too much semolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, 
Like the sand, when the people make those sand, mm -hmm. that sand art. There we go. Hmm? If it's too much, pull it out. There we go. <laughs> now that I did that greatly, <laughs> just gonna get this dough and move it on to here. All right, I'm just gonna grab the dough and spread it out. Cause you have to wait about 20, 30 minutes, depending just to make sure it rises properly. So I'll do that and we'll be back. And it's a better idea to sprinkle some olive oil drizzle on the top and work it with your fingertips. Okay, Arnak? Thank you, Mom. <laughs> My mom helped me while I was wounded. Wow, poor child. He hurt his finger. He Opening couldn't do candy. it with you. Opening candy. That's why. All right, now where is this cover? Uh, you don't have to cover it, but you can put some simple a towel. towel or a, and put it somewhere nice and warm to rise, like 15, 20 minutes. 15, yeah. 20. Oh, no, perfect. There we go. 15, 20 minutes. start adding my seasonings, which are salt, pepper flakes, and pepper itself. Now, normally you're supposed to use chorus salt, but we only have pretzel salt, so that's what we're gonna use. We're just gonna use less of it, because this is really salty. Now, there's some other things you can put. You can put rosemary on this, like the little leaves, I guess, the pins. We don't like those because those don't like, they, they sharp. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're just not fun. So here we go, now I'm gonna mash with my fingers. Just gonna. There we go. There we go, that gives it the nice, like, bumpy look. There we go. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven at 475 for about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15? 15. 15. Alright. Let's go. 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 let down and start just rubbing this garlic on. Just gonna pour a dash more. Yes. <laughs> just gonna go rub this all over. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need more. There we go. I'm just gonna spread the oil around. There we go. Oh my god, it's not even sticking to the bottom. <laughs> it should be really easy to take out. Nice extra helping of uh, semolina that's nice and cooked. <laughs> I was about to grab the hot metal with my hand. That's how I burnt right here. There we go. There we go. Arka back. Lucene, you guys want gar um, focaccia? You also have some hair. Oh, right, you guys too. <laughs> oh, that was my. Nice. Um, we're invited to focaccia. Come, guys. Lucene. My favorite bread. Oh, 
It's your favorite? Beck, do you want a corner piece? Or a middle piece? Nope. I want a middle piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, mm. I'll take corner piece. There you go. This one. Grab it. Give him. I have to serve him. <laughs> <laughs> Pop on the dollars and check. Mm -hmm. Ah, good. Yeah. How is it, guys? It's, it's amazing. Mm. So light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to try it? No, I'm okay. I have my salad waiting for me right there. I'm Your zooming in on it. i crying for you now. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Good job, Anna. Just as always. Mm -hmm. He's gonna become a bread master. Bad? You like it, Hamova? Does it taste good, Bad? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, what are they supposed to do? Like and subscribe and comment down below what we want you want us to do next. Oh, your bread home. Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you guys you. so much for watching. And the recipe is below this video. Yep. Make sure to make it though. It's really, it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Right it's perfect for the rosemary. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. I like the taste of the rosemary. I just don't like the pins. I think you should slightly so you know, fry it with olive oil. Just like rosemary oil. And just spread that it. That would work a lot better. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't have to eat like pins. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. It's good, Hamova.